In this lesson, I wanted to show you how we can actually create some dynamic JSON data. So previously, what we were doing is we were working with just JSON file, and it's fairly static. There's nothing that's changing, and we have no way to really update the content here. But when we use PHP, we do have the ability to update content on the fly. So I'll just show you what happens here. So instead of JSON, JSON, I've created a brand new PHP file and I've called it JSON PHP. So this is a blank PHP file and now we're going to simulate output as JSON uh, from PHP. So uh, if you're not familiar with PHP, this is going to be very basic, straightforward PHP. Uh, so in order to open up a PHP file or create a PHP file code, uh, you need to uh, nest it within PHP tags. So all we do is the less than sign question mark PHP and this will uh, create some PHP code. Uh, in order to output content we echo content out. Uh, so I'm going to actually be creating a JSON uh, variable file. And with PHP we don't have to define variables. So all we have to do is do something like this. Output so now this current PHP file, basically what this is saying, uh, the variable JSON equals output, and we're just echoing it out for the user to be able to see. So when we go into the file, we refresh it, we see we've got that output there. And right now when we refresh it, we're gonna get some errors because this isn't properly formatted JSON data and we're having trouble parsing through it. Uh, so that's where we're getting those errors. So we need to actually update this with some real JSON data and then we also need to update the header. So this is going to be uh, very straightforward at first and then we're going to look into how to create this dynamically. So first of all, I just want to show you how we can easily add JSON data within our PHP variable and then just update this header. So in general, uh, you usually don't have to uh, set the content types, uh, but it's always a good idea to set them because uh, it's good format and it does help the browser understand what type of content it should be expecting, and especially if you've got uh, browsers that are more specific on uh, if this is a JSON file or not, and it sees this PHP extension, so you might run into some trouble there. So that's why it's always a good idea to set the headers, and in PHP we just do header, and then we put that header information. And then all we're doing with the echo, we're echoing out the content just as we did before. So now when I go over to here, we see that we have the same thing, looks the same as our JSON file. Uh, it's being outputted in a JSON format. I can even take this I can go over to here and validate it. So exactly the same thing, uh, no difference. So now when I go over to localhost and I refresh it, we see that it's working once again and we've successfully uh, traded that JSON file to a PHP scripting file where we can create content dynamically or we could even pull it out of a database and so on. So I'm gonna talk more about how PHP can handle and render out JSON content in the upcoming lessons. And I promise I'm not gonna to get too deep into PHP code. So even if you're not familiar with PHP code, you should still be able to follow along and understand what we're doing with it. Uh, so, so far, all we've done with PHP code is we've rendered out that exact same JSON file information as we initially had in JSON.JSON, and there's no change in the AJAX call because as far as AJAX JavaScript is concerned, as long as we've got that co content formatted within a JSON format, it's a JSON content and it's going to be able to work with that content, parse through it, and output it within the normal uh, format. So it works the same way, interchangeable. So it's regardless of what the URL extension is, as long as the content is coming in in a formatted way, then it's going to be usable within JavaScript.